Welcome to the big pink sofa, which finally has cushions. We're pretty excited about it. It's only been a year in the making. <laughs> um, we asked you guys a couple of weeks ago to ask us anything. We haven't done one of these for ages, so you guys suggested a bunch of amazing questions. This was a really good round. Yeah, mm. um, So we've whittled down the questions to some of our favorite ones. <laughs> and I'm here with the lovely Dane and a face you may or may not recognize. This is Jess, Crumbs and Doilies general manager, who we've roped in to be the <laughs> quiz master today. Hi. So Jess is gonna be asking the questions. And don't worry, you will see Sally popping up here and there. So don't despair. <laughs> She's in Costa Rica, I don't know if you heard. <laughs> She never mentioned that once. I know, she didn't mention it at all before she went. Not once. Right, Jess, what's the first question? Okay, so question number one. This is a great one because obviously we've just had our recipe book out. Hope you all got one for Christmas. <laughs> um, so, if you could recommend one recipe from your book for a first bake, what would it be? Mm. Mine would probably be the skillet cookie. Mm. Because it's so like, good. Yeah, it's like a one pan dish and there's not many ingredients mm -hmm. you could have it ready in like 30 minutes and yeah. you can mm. kind of scale it up or down depending on how many people you want to serve if mm -hmm. you want to do it in a mini one yeah mm. it's like perfect and it's I really want delicious a giant one. <laughs> yeah. you could do, do that, that. <laughs> <laughs> um what do i think i think actually just the basic vanilla sponge like the layer cake sponge because like it's just, if you're starting out baking, you've got to nail vanilla sponges. Like mm. you're going to be making a lot of them, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And actually, I made this with Eden, my two and a half year old daughter, fairly recently. And we didn't use any machinery, obviously, because she's two and a half. Um, <laughs> and because it's got self-raising flour and a mixture of butter and oil, you don't need to beat as much air into it as you do mm -hmm. with mm. other sponges. And so we were able to make it together. Like I did Aww. obviously do a lot of the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the hard work. <laughs> But it came out really well, and I think it's a really good one to give you a bit of a sort of baking win boost. Mm. Mm. Okay, so this one we get all the time in the office. When will your book be available worldwide? Oh my goodness, yes. We do get asked this a lot. A lot. Um, we don't have any, well, we don't have much concrete information for you at this point, um, but we do know that it's coming out in Australia in March. So if I you're do. in Australia, congrats to you. You can pick <laughs> it up in your local bookshop, hopefully, uh, from March onwards. The US and Canada are going to be sh shortly after that, I know. And then there's a few other countries that are basically in the process of um, signing up, I suppose. Germany mm -hmm. is one of them. But we don't have any like concrete information. But when we do, we will always put it on Instagram. So if you don't follow Crumbs and Doilies or Cupcake Gemma both on Instagram <laughs> yet, make sure you do because we'll always put uh, the new countries where they're available. Yeah. On there. So <laughs> next one, she's not actually here. I think she might be in Costa Rica, maybe. Oh, I don't I know. Think I don't so. know. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us some more info on Sally's bake classes? So obviously this is best asked by Sally, answered by Sally. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Costa Rica. Thanks for joining us here. It is super hot, as you can see. I'm <laughs> trying really hard not to be too sweaty and the humidity is doing wonders to my hair. Um, <laughs> but we are having such a fabulous time. Thanks to everyone that's given me loads of hint hints and tips over on Instagram. That's been really lovely of you guys. <laughs> There's birds singing in the background. I hope you can hear that. It is just such a stunning country. So, the answer to my first question, or your first question, you guys want to know more about the baking classes, which I teased on my Instagram about a week ago now. Um, lots of you are saying that you're really interested, which is super exciting. Classes have been something that Crumbs and Doilies and myself have wanted to do for ages and ages, so now we're finally doing it together. Um, we're hopefully going to be starting in February. Uh, when I get back in the middle of January, I'll be giving you loads more information about it, but I just really want to be able to kind of meet you guys in person and teach because it's just something that I'm super passionate about um, and I can't wait to meet you guys. I'm so jealous of her Costa Rican adventure. I know. It's not fair. The jungle looks great. It does. Oh, it does. <laughs> have you seen, great. have you been watching her stories? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> jealous. Well, Joe. Mm. What's next? Oh, um, what in baking intimidates you or do you avoid and why? Well, my answer's pretty long. Well, you better start it. Okay, so <laughs> get I, comfy. I feel like simple things because I, I always tend to overcomplicate things. It does. And so then I like overthink it and then I just make it more work for myself than it should be. And sometimes the simplest things are best. But then on the flip side, and I'm really going to contradict myself, things like 
pastry. And if you follow the pastry chef, Cedric Gollet, who um, is a French pastry chef. He's amazing. Mm. Yeah, incredible. Like if you go to Paris, go to two of his places, they're insane. But he makes these kind of like tarts with pastry shells and they're like double baked and with layers and mousses and gels and that kind of like componentry in a dessert kind of scares me because mm. there's just if you like get one wrong and then something doesn't set and then you yeah. cut into it and then it's all oh that doesn't work imagine if you went through all of that and then like something didn't set and oh you see it on like creme de la creme all the, it's not called creme de la creme anymore what is it called the i don't know what you're show. talking about the <laughs> tv show the um oh Bake the, off the oh, professionals. Oh, professionals. professionals yes yeah sometimes yes you, see it on you there. do yeah, yeah i mean it can happen to anyone even mm. professionals maybe it exactly. also happens to cedric Gollet, but he edits out of those videos <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know True. But but I, well, I feel like like laminated stuff is mm. my nemesis. Well, it's not my nemesis. I just I literally, believe it or not, I've never mm. made puff pastry like from scratch, like actual puff really? pastry. Yeah, and I've I've always wanted to make it, and I've always also wanted to make um, croissants. Mm. It's the lamination. I just mm. I don't know why. It just I feel like. I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna get it wrong. <laughs> I've, I, I've decided that this year is the year, guys. It's we'll lamination year. Yes. I cannot wait. I I'm cannot wait to it. be your guinea pig. Ah, <laughs> oh, so I wonder who asked this question. When will Sam get his own cooking show? <laughs> and that was asked by Sam B. <laughs> Who's that? Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know if you know this, but Sam behind the camera and also <laughs> my business partner, the other half of Crumbs and Doilies, <laughs> is a very, very good cook. And he, if you don't follow him on Instagram, he's at sbish. <laughs> B-I-S-H and every now and then he posts his um, dinner making on his stories and it makes us all completely jealous mm. and it's yeah. really Yeah, really despicable. good. And if you see the prep, he's a very diligent cook. Oh, his so mise en place yeah. is enviable. Very, very methodical. He's got compartment, little pots for everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's like how we would bake, but... With but but same food, same food, same food. food. sausage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, so maybe there's room for an Espish cooking channel on YouTube. Would you like to see some savoury food on my side? I'd watch it. I would too. <laughs> I'd watch it. I would prefer if he just made us lunch in the kitchen, like he literally promised to day one of moving in here. Has it happened yet? <laughs> no, never. And in fact, at the Christmas party, he just made like he didn't even make anything. We did all the we did, we did it all, all the bits. Yeah, he promised us like. Suckling pig. <laughs> <laughs> Your potatoes were amazing, by the way. Oh, okay. no, I didn't do them. Gemma did those. Oh, I did the did vegetables. I? Yeah, you did oh, those. Oh, your potatoes yeah. were amazing. Well, and anyway. your veg was great. <laughs> but Sam did it. Oh, Sam did. Um, oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> did you? Oh, I know. Turns out he did the potatoes. I bought Your potatoes them. are great. <laughs> we get asked this all the time as well, actually. What is something that is better store bought than homemade? Store bought? Yeah. Hmm. Jam. Oh, I just feel like like we have the raspberry goo, like the fruit goose in the book, but that's, that's not jam. That's, that's not a jam. Thing. Yeah, but jam is just it takes so long to make. And if you're making like a cake and you just want it to go in the inside, I feel like. What about if you just want jam? Oh, if you just want jam, yeah, exactly. But Unless like, you've got what about if you've got a glut of plums in your garden? <laughs> not that I do. <laughs> Then I'd probably make a crumble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yum. yeah. To be fair, I would never make jam. No, just leave it to the jam makers of the world. And they're very good. I think nut pastes are better mm. store bought. Like, mm. you can make a really good version of like pistachio paste and hazelnut paste. And we do actually have a recipe for those in the book. <laughs> um, but to get like super duper smooth textural. Yeah. For nut paste, I think store bought like a nice pistachio paste from Italian de an Italian deli mm. is the one. Um, and my other one, like sort of sort of curveball, is birds cuts birds custard. While it's not Ooh. necessarily Aww. better than homemade custard, because I love custard all the ways, it's really good. It's such a classic, and it's so easy. And yeah. you can make it vegan because you don't. It doesn't have any like dairy products in it. It's basically just flavored corn flour, and so you <laughs> you can make it with oat milk if you want, and it's so good. Oh, I might have to try that. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yum. And they sell the really small single pots. Yeah. What? Of custard. Oh, yeah. Oh, like birds. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking oh. Ambrosia. <laughs> well, I'm that's thinking another Ambrosia. brand. Of, I mean, that's yeah. good, too. Which I also love. <laughs> I'll take custard any which way. Like, doesn't matter where from. <laughs> okay, next question. Hypothetically, if you were only able to eat one of your products forevermore, 
Which would you choose? Mm. Ooh, tough. I feel like you've got a good answer for this one. Do I? Mm. Well, I do love a caramel cornflake brownie. Oh. And like, if that was the only thing on the menu, I'd be okay with that. And I think most people would too, mm. because it's our biggest seller in the shop. <laughs> 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 so I'm not alone. Um, I just love how chewy and salty mm. and sweet mm. and yeah. crispy and all the bits. It's like, it's got everything I want texturally and flavor wise. That's what I'd choose. Mine would be um, the banana rama cupcakes oh. from the book. Yum. Oh, yummy. Just because, yeah, I feel like they have all the favorite elements for me of like a cupcake or a dessert in there. It's like the crunchy, the caramelized white chocolate. Mm. Love banana y things and Yum. caramel. Or the apple crumbled, apple cinnamon cheesecake. Yeah, because that's also got pie crumb on it. You're also a bit of a pie crumb fiend. Yes. Who isn't? Love I love pie crumb. Love pie crumb. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love pie crumb. Just eat pie crumb. We asked Sally the same thing, and here's what she had to say. I love this question, but it was really hard because we were thinking about this the other day. And if I just ate all of my favorite bake, which is the caramel cornflake brownie all the time, I think I would maybe start to feel a little bit sick because the brownie bit is just so decadent and rich. So I'm going to go with the OG cornflake bake. Insert book page number here because it is in the Crumbs and Doilies book. And if I can't have that, then I'm just going to have a bowl of the multi cornflakes because that stuff is addictive. And it doesn't matter how full I am, I can just chow down on that. So that is my answer. I knew Sally would say that. Oh, mm. yeah. Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Would you ever do savoury baked goods? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's been asked many times yes. over the years. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think we'd rule it out. No. no. I mean, you know, we all really like cooking. I mean, obviously, we're known for sweet stuff, but if you want to see savoury food, then just let us know in the comments box. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next question. What is your ideal New York cookie flavour? And this can be something that we have already mm. or that you haven't designed yet. Mm. Wow. I always feel like a carrot cake one would be good. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. We should do that. Let's yeah. do it. But the apple uh, crumble one in the book is my all-time favorite. Like when mm. we made them for the shoot, the ones that were left over, I just kept. Those are the one, only ones I would eat. Yeah. They were so amazing. Really with, the cr with the pi crumble pie crumble mm. one. Yeah. Mm. Yum, yum. And the apple filling. Yes. We have got so many flavours that mm. this one is the one I would go back to again and again, and it is the double chocolate because mm. they're so big. <laughs> <your cookies. laughs> like I actually struggle. I mean, I can easily do it. But like <laughs> I struggle quite a lot with the other ones because they're so sweet. But the double chocolate because it's got the, the black cocoa in it and it mm. just doesn't taste as sweet. I can easily put away all 125 grams of that. <laughs> with no problem. They're so moreish. They are so moreish. Right. So next one. What are your favourite bakes from childhood and how might you rework them? Oh my God, I've got so many favourite bakes from childhood, <laughs> like so many, I had such a sweet tooth. One of my favourite things to eat was a fondant fancy, Mr Kipling, mm. classic. Mm. Those little squares with a little blob on top and I would eat it like in such a specific way. I'd like peel all the icing and like scoop off the cream mm. and then I'd eat the sponge and like, it, you know, they're not winning awards for like flavors and textures, right? But there was something, <laughs> I just loved it. I loved this, this squishy stuff. They were so mm. fluffy as well, yes. so light. Yeah. So if I was gonna bake it again, like Cupcake Gemma style, I would probably make the blob salted caramel creme diplomat. Oh mm. my gosh. Right? And then Yum. like a, a syrup sponge square and then d dunked in like a chocolate glaze. That oh my so God, good. should we do it? Oh yes. my goodness, please. Yes. I want it. Yum. Mine would also be a fondant fancy, but for the, opposite reason because I didn't like them so that's why I would rework them. Next question, can you do another behind the scenes in the bakery or can you do another walkabout or a walk around in New York? Mm. Well we, we actually got loads of questions about like mm. different kinds of content and like what's coming up and we would love to do, I mean we really like doing walk arounds don't mm. we because we get to eat all day. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, mm. We haven't done mm. behind the scenes videos for so long mm. and we love it, don't we? And yeah. you guys love it. Definitely. So if you want to see some of that, let us know. <laughs> that was actually our last question for YouTube. Goodness, that went so quickly. So quickly. Yeah. But 
If you want more, and then head over to uh, patreon.com forward slash cupcake Gemma to sign up to the Bake Club because we'll be over there answering a ton more questions. Um, and it's actually just a really great place to get extra content. And maybe you'd like to gift it if you haven't got someone a Christmas present. I know it's after Christmas now, but maybe you forgot someone. <laughs> and like, or maybe you didn't get, you got someone's socks and they were like, what the hell? <laughs> if you want to get them something better, then head over there and sign up to the Bake Club. Um, we will be there answering more. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.